Kiflam everyone. A couple of days after the release of this video, it will have been a total of 10 years since the launch of one of the best games in the last 10 years, if not ever. As we are coming up to the 10th anniversary of this game's release, I decided that it was about time I actually got the Platinum for the game for the first time. Trophy wise, we are looking at a total of 51 trophies, 42 of them are bronze, 5 silver, 3 gold and of course the Platinum trophy itself. Before we get into today's video, pressing both like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. So here are the steps that I plan to go through to work towards the Platinum trophy. First thing first is to finish the story. Trophy wise for the story there are actually not that many. After completing the story the next step is to complete all of the miscellaneous things that I need to do to achieve 100%. Then finally for the story of this game I will go back through to certain missions and side missions to obtain the gold trophy, uh, the gold medal for the final trophy. I won't be speaking too much of the story while going through the trophies as I'm pretty sure at this point we all know the story off by heart. And once the game has been completed I will then start on GTA Online and and that is actually where the true grind begins. So I think it's about time we got started with the first trophy. Our first trophy is of course story related. As Franklin, we repoed a car and raced it through the heart of a sun-soaked metropolis against Lamar. For this, we received the trophy, welcome to Los Santos. Some time has passed, we repoed another car, we crashed that car through Simeon's dealership window due to having a gun to our head. We then uh, met with Michael later on, pulled down a house together and it turns out that house actually belongs to Martin Madrezo and not the tennis coach that Michael's wife is sleeping with. Long story short, we need a lot of money. We do this by performing a heist on a high-end jewellery store. For cleaning out the jewellery store to pay back Martin, we received the trophy Diamond Heart. We are now introduced to our third protagonist named Trevor and let's just say he's not all there. Anyway, I remember seeing that one of the trophies is actually related to him. I made my way uh, to get a bail bun target. Once I got the target, I made sure to take him back alive and for delivering the bail bun target alive, we received the trophy, wanted, alive or alive. Of course, Trevor saw the news about the jewelry store heist and due to a comment that Michael had made, Trevor was suspicious. This made him travel down to Los Santos and track down Michael. Eventually, Trevor finds Michael's house and they all live happily ever after. No, what actually happens is that they find out that Tracy, Michael's daughter, is going to be on fame or shame and due to Tracy not having any talent whatsoever, Michael and Trevor make their way to the location of fame or shame taking place. The host Laszlo runs away so of course we steal a truck and chase after him. Eventually we catch up to him taking some incriminating photos and leave. For doing this we receive the trophy A Friendship Resurrected. We are now playing as Franklin and we take on an assassin mission for Lester and this is where we can play with the stock market in the game. Just to note these missions I will complete after the main story as that's the best way to actually make the most money. I just have to do this one now to continue ahead with the story of the game. After heading back home and sleeping for a couple of days I wait until I am happy with how much my share has gone up and then I sell it all. For making a profit over my total investments I receive the trophy trading pure alpha. We now have the gang all together, Franklin, Michael and Trevor and we end up doing a score together. We use a small submarine to head underwater and collect something from the bottom of the ocean. Unfortunately though, because we steal this item, Meriwether Security FBI, open up! is on us and we of course have to take them out. As we return back to the airfield, Lester is there and tells us that we need to get rid of it. Michael promises Trevor a score to get him to agree. For completing this mission, we received the trophy, Subversive. This next trophy I wanted to get out of the way as soon as possible. In total, we had to play GTA 5 in first person for 15 hours. So for this, I simply went into first person mode while I went out and did other stuff. Or any task in the game, like a triathlon I would do in first person, as movement speed in first person is a lot quicker. Eventually though, 15 hours had passed and I had finally gotten the trophy, a new perspective. It's that time again where the gang needs money. This time they pull off a blitz plane where they take down an armored vehicle that is carrying quite a bit of money. For performing a classic blitz plane, we receive the trophy, Blitz. 
Well, this next trophy, Trevor is a little bit angry as all he had asked for is a fair day's pay for a fair day's work. However, Martin did not agree. So logically, Trevor decided to kidnap his wife. After this great scene, we received the trophy, a fair day's pay. Next up is definitely one of my favourite missions in the game. This is where we steal a whole lot of money from a bank. Now while that doesn't sound the best, the next part is where it gets great. Once we steal everything that we can, we of course put on this juggernaut type of armour, we have miniguns and we destroy everything in sight. This mission basically describes GTA as a whole. Anyway, for completing this job, we received the trophy, small town, big job. Now this next trophy technically counts as a missable trophy, uh, as Trevor you can pick people up who are stuck on the side of the road, if you deliver these people to their location you miss this trophy. So instead of taking them home, you just deliver them to a cult. So for delivering an unsuspecting victim to the altruist uh, cult, we received the trophy Altruist Acolyte. Unfortunately, now Trevor has uncovered the truth about Brad, that Brad actually wasn't rotting away in prison, but instead rotting away in the ground. For uncovering the truth about Brad, we received the trophy, the moment of truth. We are now closing in on the end of the story, but we first have to recover sensitive information from a highly defended federal building. For doing this, we received the trophy, the government gimps. Then finally, it's the big one, the thing that we have been working towards all game, the heist to end all heists. And somehow, after successfully pulling it off and celebrating with Lester, we received the trophy, the big one. There is just one thing left to do, and as Franklin, we have to make a choice, kill Michael or kill Trevor. We of course decide to go with option C and take out Devin instead. All three of us push the car he is in off a cloth and we watch the car blow up with Devin inside. And there we have it, the end of the GTA 5 story. For completing the final mission, we received the trophy to live or die in Los Santos. The campaign was the easy part. Everything else that we now have to do is where the game and the grind truly begins. My first task now is to get 100% game completion. This means I have to do everything that the game has to offer including all side missions and stranger and freak missions. First though I want to make a lot more money than what I currently have so the best way to do this is the stock market. Thankfully Franklin has that quest line which gives us the opportunity to invest in the stock market. These are the assassination missions. While buying all of the stocks with all three characters, I actually ended up spending a total of $200 million across all three characters for the trophy, a lot of cheddar. Then of course it was time to experience Epsilon. Epsilon is a religious group in GTA 5. Many of you who have had any experience with Epsilon will of course know the opening of this video where I said Kiflam. Of course we complete many tasks for them and donate quite a lot of money. Eventually though we are given the greatest gift of all for all of our hard work, a wooden vehicle and of course the trophy Kiflam. Okay, so let's just work through all of these miscellaneous trophies first and then we will get into some more of the grindy stuff. First, I purchased a downtown cab company and then completed a private fair for the trophy All's Fair in Love and War. I then went and fully mudded a vehicle for the trophy Los Santos Customs. I fully mudded a weapon for the trophy Pimp My Sidearm. I went through and completed all of Trevor Rampages for the trophy Red Mist. And now it was time to grind again. As Franklin, I picked up a quest where I was tasked with collecting a total of 50 spaceship parts that are scattered across the map. Thanks to a very helpful guide online, I managed to collect all 50 within a couple of hours. Once I gave them back to Omega and watching a pretty cool cutscene, we received a vehicle and also a trophy from Beyond the Stars. And now it is time to explore the entire map once again, and this time to collect all 50 scrap letters that had been scattered. Once we collect all 50, we will be given a location of someone called Peter Dreyfus, who is the person behind the death of Leona, Leonora Johnson. We have the option to either spare him or kill him. I of course choose the latter and put him down. For solving the mystery, I received the trophy, a mystery solved. 
More collecting now and this time after purchasing the old duck we are given the submarine that we used earlier in the game. With this we have to collect all the nuclear waste in the ocean. While doing this though I decided to go for a bit of a swim as there is another trophy here. For getting eaten by a shark we received the trophy out of your depth. I then went back to the submarine and collected the remaining pieces of the nuclear waste for the trophy waste management. Just a couple more things that I need to do now before I head into online and spend a very long time in there. Of course we have to show off our stunt jumping skill, there are a total of 50 and I leave the hardest one till last. A quick save before doing the jump and then loading after failing was needed more than I care to actually admit. Eventually though I had made the jump and got the trophy show off. It is now time to start flying, our next trophy needs us to fly under all of the bridges in the game and complete all of the knife flight challenges. I first flew under all of the bridges as this was definitely the easier one of the two. After about an hour I got all of these done and went to flight school to start work on the knife flights. This is the easiest method to do this as with flight school training one of the sessions if you die you just respawn in the plane and you can do it again. After about another hour I got all of those done and received the trophy close shave. I wish I had done the helicopter one last as this next trophy needs me to explore all of Los Santos and Blaine County. I had to essentially reveal all of the map. So I stole another helicopter and got to flying over parts of the map that had been cleared. This was a lot shorter only taking me around 15 minutes for doing so and we received the trophy San Andreas Sightseer. As Trevor we have purchased the McKenzie Field Hangar. There are missions where you need to deliver a lot of weapons and after completing all of these and essentially winning the arms race we receive the trophy TP Industries Arms Race. Our next trophy now we need to obtain a gold medal in certain hobbies and pastimes. There are a total of 6 that we have to do here. Shooting range, flight school lesson, triathlon, sea race, street race and an off road race. Now at this point I had only done the flight school and street race so it was time I got the rest. The last one I ended up doing was a triathlon and finally received the trophy multidiscipline. It was now time to get the gang back together just one final time for this next trophy. We had to survive a total of 3 minutes on at least a 3 star wanted level. So after picking them both up I went straight to the airport and just decided to go on a drive around there. Then 3 minutes later I got the trophy 3 man army. Next up is of course another grind. This grind though was to finally get 100% game completion. For this you have to complete all story missions, complete all hobbies and pastimes which include these that are on screen right now, all stranger and freaks, at least 14 out of the 57 random events and all the miscellaneous stuff which includes everything that you see on screen right now. Now thankfully I had done about 95% of everything on those lists for other trophies. The only ones I really had to do were the friend activities, a booty call and robbing a shop. However after doing these nothing really happened. Well it turns out I didn't do all of the street races and I had to do some type of workaround to actually get a call to go on to the next race. Sometimes this actually involved me going back to previous races to win again. Eventually though after completing the final race yet again we received the trophy career criminal. There was only one thing left that I needed to do in the story part of the game and that was to earn a total of 70 gold medals across missions and also strangers and freaks. The only good thing about this is you can replay the missions as much as you want and only complete one task at a time as it would save that mission objective. At this point I had roughly 30 gold medals and instead of randomly choosing missions I just researched the best ones to take on. Eventually. After going through them I finally ended on the one where the CEO of Life Invader head gets blown up. All I had to do was this was complete the mission within a certain time limit. Finally I get it done, the game saves and I receive the trophy solid gold baby.
Every single player trophy has been done, but of course, now that one grind is over, another begins. Thankfully though, whether it was just pure luck or I truly became a part of Epsilon, Kiflam, I was starting GTA Online at a perfect time. Rockstar were doing weekly events where businesses were giving double RP and money, which of course I had to take full advantage of. But before getting into that, it's time to truly start out at GTA online career. We create a character and because I am playing for the first time I'm given a starting amount of four million dollars but I have to spend the majority of it here and now. I spend it on an apartment, a garage and an insured vehicle. After all this and GTA Online is about to begin, I receive the trophy off the plane for completing the introduction and then American Dream for owning the apartment, garage and vehicle. So as I was playing, I was also looking at the easiest ways to level up as one of the last trophies I actually end up getting is of course achieving level 100. I first tried out a couple of YouTube video suggestions which were to do with survival waves. Some had AFK methods, just weren't AFK methods at all. But after 10 rounds, I managed to get the trophy on natural selection. Then I noticed that this red circle was on the map and after going there and being shot at I took down all of the enemies. Turns out this was a gang attack and from completing this without dying and killing at least 10 enemies I received the trophy clean sweep. I have now reached a high enough level where I can call in a backup helicopter for the first time and for doing that I received the trophy dialing digits. I then decided to go ahead and start collecting some more collectibles as it was an easy way to get RP to start the game off. After collecting a bunch of these, I finally reached level 25 for the trophy 3-Bit Gangster. It was at this point I realised that I had one trophy left that didn't really need a huge grind and that was to hold up 20 stores. For doing this, I got the trophy Stick Up Kid. While everything before was a grind, this next part was even more of a grind than everything that I had just done. There are only 9 trophies left, but these last 9 trophies took me a full 2 weeks to work on. I of course decided to use PSN profiles to find someone that can probably help me with these, and I actually found several people. They were a huge help in getting the last of the trophies. First up was just reaching rank 50. I was using the double RP and money event to my advantage and started to make my way through some of these levels quite easily. Just really happy that I bought the correct business for this week. For reaching level 50, I got the trophy making moves. Now it was time to get some help. Our first trophy, we need to direct a driver to first place as a co-driver in rally mode. Now this seems relatively easy and it actually was but what wasn't easy was waiting in a lobby for two other people to join for probably over 30 minutes maybe even closer to an hour like nobody was doing this rally mode. Eventually though two people did join and I quickly got the trophy backseat driver. Just like story mode in online, we have to participate in everything that Los Santos has to offer. We of course have to get this trophy by going to a strip club. <laughs> this part is definitely going to need to be blurred out. Anyway, for doing this, we received the trophy. Enjoy your stay. Racing time now and it turns out that I had used my custom vehicle to win a total of 5 races. So this gave us the trophy, the Midnight Club. Now this next trophy I thought was bugged. This trophy made me get to the point of basically losing my mind. I had to obtain first place in all competitive game types, which I had already done twice over. The trophy just refused to pop. So I started it for a third time with somebody completely different than I was doing the previous two times and I decided I was going to be the host this time and for some reason after doing team deathmatch again but with me as the host it gave me the trophy. I wish I had recorded my reaction because I am pretty sure that I screamed. <laughs> anyway for doing this this gave me the trophy numero uno. Now we are almost there, just a couple more trophies to go. First up, I had to join a crew, which was actually really easy as I was just randomly invited to one. Then for completing a job as a member of that crew, I got the trophy Crew Cut. Now I needed the help of someone again as I needed to kill a thief that had mugged me. As far as I'm aware, the only way to get the thief to mug you is by having another player get a thief to do it. So after taking down the thief and getting my money back, I received the trophy full refund. 
and it was now time to survive a bounty on my head and thankfully this can be done in an invite only session. All I had to do was steal a couple of cars and I would receive a text saying that someone is coming for me and I would just have to survive 48 minutes which is one full day cycle in game in order to get this trophy. So I just got into my car and started driving around the entire map. After a couple of laps and also 48 minutes later we received the trophy run like the wind. Just two more trophies to go and now this next one took me a long time. Between that last trophy and this one it took me an entire week. Damn! And this was to earn a total of 30 platinum awards. Just like in single player you have to get 70 gold medals, for the platinum awards you have to complete certain tasks to get these. After playing Arena Wars to get my level up due to me having GTA Plus and getting 4 times RP and money rewards, I got the last platinum award for the trophy decorated. And now there was one, just one trophy remained and that was to reach level 100. Of course from here on out I did not stop playing until I reached that level. Now you may think that I got this from completing uh, just casually playing the game, of course not, it's Arena Wars again but this time I died and I was spectating and in the spectator area there is a wheel that you can spin for $5,000 and of course get you some good rewards and one of those rewards being RP. Now of course it being 4 times any time I got any RP it would 4 times that amount. So obviously I was spinning this hoping for RP and I got it. After getting several of these I had finally reached level 100 and received the trophy above the law. Then of course the platinum trophy itself, Los Santos Legend. I still can't believe that this game has been out for a total of 10 years now and I have played every version of the game on each console generation that it has been released on. In total this Platinum Trophy took me over 180 hours to complete and from my first trophy to the last it took me 1 month, 2 days and 20 hours. 